Hey guys, it's Izzy. Welcome back to the ham special. All right, so I don't know if anybody saw the video that I posted uh, regarding the bottom of the well and that I was unable to access it because the uh, cutscene where the well drains it uh, caused the game to freeze every time. Um, and I had originally put in a cheat to get me the Lens of Truth, and I was just going to move on to the Shadow Temple. Well, you know, I got to thinking about it, and that's just not good enough. I am going to show you the bottom of the well if it's the last thing I do. Um, well, anyways, after some, uh, some trial and error and, uh, several more takes, I actually managed to get the well to drain successfully, uh, just by chance. I'm not sure what happened, but, uh, for some reason it worked, and, uh, I immediately saved, and, um, yeah. So, now that that is taken care of, I can actually show you the bottom of the well. Um, it is a little mini dungeon that is down at... Shut up, Navi, nobody cares. Uh, that is down at the bottom of the well, in case you hadn't guessed that already. So, um, yeah, let's, uh, let's get started. Let's drop down into the well, like so. Take some damage, but who cares? Um, real quick, let's see. I only have one fairy, but I'm not going to need to use it, probably, so we'll be fine. All right, so without further ado, let's begin. So, we are here in the bottom of the well. Um, it is, like I said, it's a mini dungeon. Um, it's honestly, I would have to say it is the lowest point of the game. Um, if I had any complaints with this game, they would all be centered around the bottom of the well, in that, um, it's, uh, it's not very, uh, unique. It's, it actually borrows all of its, uh, its textures and designs from the Shadow Temple itself. It even has the same music, and I thought that was kind of lame, because all of the other mini-dungeons, they all feature their own... They all have their own unique look. Well, that was strange what happened there. Um, they all have their own unique looks, and, uh... You know, I thought it would just... It would have been kind of cool if, uh... It would have been a lot better if this had had its own looks, but... Oh, well. Okay, so... We have a giant Skulltula. And since we have no arrows, we have to do this the old-fashioned way. Like so. Alright, now that's taken care of... We, uh, we have a skeleton over here, and Navi's hovering around it, so we're gonna check it out. I can hear the spirits whispering in this room. Look for the Eye of Truth. That's what they are saying. So, that is why we are here. That is our sole purpose for being in the bottom of the well, is to find this so-called Eye of Truth. Um... And, uh, yeah. So we have a dead end. We are completely trapped in this room that goes nowhere. But that's actually not true. Because if you will watch very closely, check this out. Did you see that? Well, of course you did. That wall there, there's a pat space in this wall that is actually not real. Um, if you go over here, it's not the case, but right here, it is fake. And that right there is the main gimmick of the bottom of the well and the Shadow Temple. Is uh, That would be illusions. Um, you'll see a lot of uh, things that aren't real, such as walls. And uh, there will also be a lot of invisible things. And um, like I said, that's kind of the main gimmick of the Shadow Temple and this little mini dungeon here. Um, as such, it can be very easy to get lost. So, um... Hang on, uh, he's... Got him! Okay. That guy annoys me. So I'm gonna shut up, and we're gonna get we're gonna get started. I don't like to be here. Um, I just this is a boring and kind of dull place. So just just like I said, you saw me run through this wall, just kind of stick with me here, and uh, I'm gonna just kind of power through this. This is like I said, this is to me this little dungeon is just kind of tedious and boring. So okay, so we found a key in that uh, little space in the wall here, and. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to run over here, and we're going to bomb this crack on that hill, right there. Okay. Down in here, we find Bomb Chew. Now, uh, Bomb Chew are basically, they're bombs that scurry around the ground like mice, and they'll crawl, crawl up walls, and you can actually, um, later on in the game, you'll need to blow stuff up that's like on the ceiling and stuff, and Bomb Chew are, uh, are the tool for the job. And, uh, so those are going to come in handy much later. Alright, so we're going to run over here, and we're going to just kind of work our way around here to the right. Right over here, there's another fake wall that reveals another little, uh, 
Franny here with another key. The keys don't take you anywhere helpful. They just take you to uh, Gold Skull Tulas, but we'll go ahead and get them just for laughs. Okay, so if you hug the wall right here. Let's see, there we are. Another fake wall. See what I mean? Lots of, lots of this going on. All right, over here is Deku Nuts, but I'm going to get him just, just for the heck of it. Okay. That's taken care of. I don't even think I need these Deku Nuts, but oh well. We'll get him. We'll get him anyways. Okay, so we're going to go through this locked door right over here. Okay, we have lots of bats. Lots of bats. Let's see how many. There's another one, and that. This guy over here should be the last one. Come on, lock on. Okay, now that's taken care of. You will notice that there is a giant hole in the ground. At least you should notice that. Um, obviously, it is not wise to jump into this hole. Well, actually, that's not necessarily obvious because we've had to jump into a few holes in the ground in the past. But this is not one you want to do that with. Um, although it seems kind of like there's no way over there to that little uh, spot over there. But there is. Watch this. If you hug the wall and you walk along here, look at that. There is an invisible floor right here. Now, there is not one over this whole gap, just along the wall here, so don't get adventurous. Like I said, illusions. Things that are real that you can't see, and things that are not real that you can see. Just something you're going to have to uh, get used to and come to expect around here. So now that we've got that gold skull chula, we can run back. There's nothing else to do in here. Okay, next we're going to run over here. Navi is going to warn us of, at least she should, but she's not. Never mind, there's a wall master in this room, but uh, we're not going to worry about him right now. Okay, possessed pods, Deku Baba. And there's our other gold skull chula. Okay. All right, now that we have that taken care of, let's move on. Okay, so in this room, don't freeze on me. Do not freeze. Okay, in this room, uh, let, let me take care of this wall master just for the heck of it. Come on. You know you want me. Maybe you don't want me. Come on, where are you? There you are! You might remember these guys from the Forest Temple. They are making- they make a triumphant return in the, uh, in the well and the Shadow Temple. Alright, so we have a chest right over here. Let's go get it- OH CRAP! We fell into a hole that we couldn't see because it was, uh, Veiled by a uh, uh, an illusion floor, fake floor. Um, like I said, you gotta watch out for that. I actually knew that hole was there. I just did that for uh, for dr for drama effects. Um, so yeah, we're now down in this room, big room, with a redead over there who is ignoring me. So uh, what next? Well, that's exactly it. Next time, uh, tune in as we. Uh, explore this room down here. I'm Izzy. This is the ham special.